Hello and welcome back to Battle Square. Um, something like that, yeah. Nearly three fucking hours later. And behold! Wait for it. Where the hell is it? W Zaman! Yeah. Uh, but we still actually have one more thing to do in Battle Square. Um, I need to go in here. And pop Omni Slash. Achievement get. Still can't pop Barrett's though. He. I was actually telling the truth when I said that I haven't grinded his penultimate limit yet. Um, and I didn't want to do it before this episode because I still I would have had to muck around with Cloud's uh, material loadout too much. So anyway. Now that we've taught Cloud Omni Slash, we still have one more thing we can do. Um, also, against my better judgment, let's do that. You know, I've been thinking about it for a while now, but you must be pretty strong. You're probably strong enough to take the top one or two fighters. Maybe you'll be good enough for the big match. How about it? There's a private battle only for the strongest. Want to try? Let's do it. Indeed. So, only... This is the special battle. Only Cloud can do this, and you can only access it after you have Ultimate Weapon and you've caught Cloud Omni Slash. There might be additional requirements in there, but I don't know. Um, and you know, we're opening up with this guy, so... Not that it's particularly threatening, but this was a round 8 enemy before, so there you go. But we do get a but we get a special prize for doing the special battle, as the name would suggest. Toad is perfect. Yeah, I mean it, this might bite me in the ass, but I think it's more interesting to do it. To try to do this the legit way. Don't care at all about the prize payout this time. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, wow. Um. Right, screw you! M now. Now I'm stuck spending all nice of the round because I need a heal from your stupid slap. I mean, in fairness, this is actually a level appropriate enemy. And for a three party party. A three member party? Yeah. It's a level appropriate enemy for where I for my current level. Um mid low to mid sixties. So it makes sense that it hits like a bitch. I just didn't want to get stuck in the spam... Uh, in the night spam thing. It will make the last section a lot less interesting. I don't really give a shit up until I get there, but... For that 8th battle, I do care a little bit. Because it's... The last one, it really is something special. Uh, although, it's worth saying, if I have- if- if I haven't already, the special battle is a selected eight enemies, so you always fight the exact same ones in the special battle. Which of course means you always end on the same one as well. Oh man, don't break my- okay, good. More Toad. More Toad is good. Uh, I'm pretty happy to fight you as well, to be honest, because you will allow me to regenerate most of my missing HP. Uh, let me think. You have, like, around... I determined around 30,000, right? Uh, this is 10%, so 3,000, so yeah, this should heal me to full. I just wish I could skip the animation! Ah! 
because I don't really like option menu options. I mean, it's not an option in this game anyway, so it's somewhat of a moot point. But I don't like menu options where you just disable animations entirely. I don't want to completely disable animations because sometimes I want to watch them, right? More often than not, I want to watch at least part of it. At, with some rare exceptions, like when you're doing a lot of grinding. Like... I can just certainly see myself turning off some animations if it was an option for uh, for the Battle Square, but normally I wouldn't. But a button that gives you the option to skip or not every time, that's the ideal. I think. Okay, uh... Awesome. Man, I've been hot on these slots so far. Way better than I did on the build-up for this. I mean, frankly, I've already started the Kodor train, so I may as well keep at it. Although, I do think I will stop the tr stop with the knights when I get to the 8th one. At least I'm going to try to find that one legit. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But truth be told, it would probably not hurt for me to have a few more levels to go through this. I mean, in general, I would say around 70 is a good level to be fighting the boss of the game. I am... I am not level 70. I wouldn't really call myself underleveled, but... Well, I'm sure as hell not overleveled either. I am on I'm on the low end of of where I should be in that regard. The really low end. Awesome. Uh, you know, I don't even care if I break my magic. I do kind of care if I break my accessory, though. Oh, it's a bomb myth. Behemoth. Apparently these have a really good steal that I missed when I was in Midgar. But, you know, I don't have you know, equipped it now, so too late for that. Oh, well. Wait, no, what was it? It might have just been elixirs, actually. I mean... Stealing elixirs is still a really good steal, don't get me wrong, but... Actually, on that topic, I need, like, way more elixirs than I do right now. Here's the thing. Um... The very best enemy in the game for AP grinding is an enemy you find in the Northern Crater, pretty close to the surface. Uh, it is a magic pot, which if you're familiar with... Final Fantasy, I assume you are at this point, <clears throat> gives you a ton of XP or money or AP, whatever, if you give it elixirs. However, <laughs> I only have so many elixirs, which is gonna be, I mean it's not a problem for this LP, so much as it's a problem for what I want to do after I finish the LP. Um, if I was on the play... If I was playing the any other version, I could use W item to duplicate my items, which it occurs to me I haven't actually shown how to do that yet. Now would probably be a good time to do it. Uh But I digress. Uh wait. I don't want to get my item sealed, I don't care about MP. More poison! Great. Uh So, since I, I was reminded, W item duplication is quite simple. I do this, I do this, and then I go back, and if you do it right, you get extra items. However, that what does not work in the PC version. Which is a shame, because that's the 
easiest way to get um, chocobo greens and elixirs. Also, to make money if you need it, but it's not even necessarily the fastest way to make money, actually, just the easiest. Um, but I digress. I, I, would pers I personally would use it for elixirs for AP farming, and for greens for chocobo breeding. And if you're having a really hard time, you can use it to go easy mode. I want mega li I want 99 mega elixirs for the final boss. But that's not something I usually do. Hmm. I suppose you well no you wouldn't be able to use it to duplicate your items. It'd be cool if you I mean your weapons, rather. It'd be cool if you could, but it only works if you can actually use the item in the first place. Anyway, I think this was number seven. I haven't really been keeping count. Yep, yeah, this is number seven. Okay, just don't get all material break. Thank you. Behold, the brave quad! Haven't we seen you before? Yeah. So I'm gonna try to do this legit. Uh, if it looks like it's not happening, I'm just gonna... Oh, I've already used Big Guard at the start of this battle. Man, that would have saved me a little bit of time. Uh, oh well. Uh, what was it saying? Right. Um, I wanna hit the chest armor first, right? No, I want to hit the armor first. Materia Jammer? What? What does that even do? Probably a status effect, if I had to guess. Now, what I'm actually really ho hoping happens in this fight is that it lets me use Omni Slash. Um, because that would be really cool. And, I'll be, to be totally honest with you, we're probably only going to get two chances to use Omni Slash in the whole game. One now, or whenever my limit goes off the first time, and one against the boss of the game. And I gotta tell you, that boss of the game one, that's not gonna turn out how you're thinking it will. Uh, you know what? I will actually deal more damage if I heal. So, let's heal. I guess I could use the next potion, but... eh. Uh, actually, come to think of it, my limit will reset if I kill it before it puts me into limit overdrive. Man, that would suck. Yeah, okay, I want to use Omni Slash on it, so... We'll heal some more. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me! In fairness, I did leave on the Mistile, which has really high... Actually, does it have that high magic evasion? Well, no, it does have super high magic evasion, that's the whole point. I don't think its physical evasion is particularly high, though. And it occurs to me that Brave Claude uses mostly physical attacks. I probably would have been better served with the Escort Guard, to be honest. Um... Yeah, just hit... Come on! Hit me! Okay, we'll heal to maximize our damage. Although, I don't think the Ultima Weapon's HP scaling really applies to Limit Breaks. Anyway, we're gonna do this!
Now, if I had maxed out physical attack power, that would have dealt more damage to the Knights of the Round. <laughs> Obviously, I don't have that kind of attack power, so it was a little bit lackluster. Whatever! I used it, I'm happy. Uh, I guess I could just finish you off of Knights of the Round right now, but honestly, I think you're probably mostly dead. You know, for a boss we fought, so really, oh, okay, um, that looks like it could hurt a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, just finish you off. I, f I feel content that I could have done it without summoning Knights of the Round. However, at the same time, I don't really want to get hit by that big guy on your shoulder. I'm pretty confident it would not kill me, but it would probably hurt enough to slow down the battle. So I may as well just finish it off this way. Plus I got his Omni Slash, so you know, yay. Oh, and you know what? Come to think of it, this will totally allow me to end the battle on full HP as well. Just to sort of add insult to in injury, I suppose. Uh, just Arthur? Yep. I mean, at least it's sort of implied to me that this last guy is supposed to be Arthur. Yep, that did it. Whoa, I guess we'll buy some remedies. But more importantly, we get the final attack materia for winning. What that does is the materia it is paired with, it's a support materia, uh, will be cast when the, that character dies. So the obvious thing to do is you pair it with either life or phoenix, and then you get revived when you die. Because, you know, yeah, um... Yeah, I mean, honestly, the only thing here that I still want, that I can afford anyway, one champion belt wouldn't hurt too much, but, you know, just give me, like, 35 remedies. I can't... oh. Oh, it's gonna be like that, eh? I didn't actually do this with my leftovers from the... when I got, um... I did not do this with my leftovers when I got this thing, but I really should have because I could, could have got like 20 um, remedies from that. Uh, I think I'm done though. <laughs> like, there's only one thing left, and that is to go to the Northern Crater. Before I do that, I need to completely change my equipment and materials setup on my whole party. I need to get Barrett's final limit, and then I need to actually head to the crater in the first place. Plus also, I need to buy 28 more remedies. Uh, so having said all that, I think I'm gonna stop off here. So, join me next time when we head into the northern crater and confront Sephiroth once and for all. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Baloo, and have a great day. Bye!